two inertial reference frames, monitor the same intriguing object. But their observations are very different. If one frame observes a certain event at a given location in time, how can we tell where and when does the other frame observe the same event? Let us focus for instance on the moment when the intriguing object passes by a certain location relative to one frame. We can time its passage with the light clock and we can measure its coordinates with a ruler. But we can also measure its coordinates relative to the other frame. Coordinates perpendicular to the relative displacement of the two frames do not change, aside perhaps from constant displacements. But the coordinate along the relative frame displacement appears length contracted. Therefore, the sum of the relative frame displacement and the coordinate in the current frame equals the length contracted coordinate in the other frame. And something very similar is observed when we switch frames. Now, it is the moving frame coordinate along the relative displacement that appears length contracted. And the stationary frame coordinate amounts to the sum of the relative displacement itself plus the length contracted coordinate from the moving frame. If we rearrange the two relations we just found, we obtain a transformation between the event's coordinates in time in one frame and its coordinates in time in the other frame. These are the Lorentz transformations. They show something very peculiar. Unlike in everyday experience, the transformed time depends not only on the original timing, but also on the original location. This is relativity of simultaneity at work, and there is a more intuitive way to look at it. All we need is a way to visually tell time from one frame to another. In the moving frame, let us add another light clock located at the origin and synchronous with the one at the event location. They are both perpendicular to the relative displacement of the frames and as usual, the time origin is the moment when the frames pass each other. Let us also add plain light fronts corresponding to the synchronized light clock pulses. They mark synchronized time at all locations in the moving frame. By the laws of electromagnetism, the light fronts are always perpendicular to the rays traced by the clock pulses. In the moving frame, the rays follow the direction of the clocks. But in the stationary frame, they are no longer perpendicular to the relative direction of motion. The pulse rays are traced at an angle due to the displacement of the moving frame. Yet, the light fronts are still perpendicular to them since the laws of electromagnetism remain the same. The oblique light fronts show that different locations of the moving frame appear at different proper times. Now, let us look again at the event considered before. The position of the pulse on the second clock shows the proper time at the origin of the moving frame. The right triangle formed by the light clock, the pulse ray, and the relative frame displacement shows that this proper time is just time dilated compared to the time of the stationary frame. Likewise, the position of the pulse on the first clock shows the moving frame time at the event location. Its difference to the proper time at the moving origin is just the projection of the light front on the second clock. 
the right triangle, formed by the second clock, the light front, and the location of the observed event, shows that this difference is always proportional to the event coordinate along the relative frame displacement. Moreover, the two right triangles are similar, and show that the proportionality factor is just the relative velocity of the two frames, in units of the speed of light. This means that the proper time difference between two points of the moving frame, as seen in the stationary frame, is constant in time, and proportional to their separation along the relative direction of motion. This is the simple meaning of the Lorentz time transformation. According to the stationary frame, time read at the moving origin, in the moving frame, is dilated relative to stationary time. But, local time at other locations of the moving frame, differs from time at the moving origin, by a position-dependent constant differential. And so, the Lorentz transformations are no longer that mysterious, and hopefully, the relativistic universe looks somewhat less unnerving. <laughs>